Um, our trailer, they dropped it and the forklift went through it. Oh man. Oh yeah. Well you got a hey. Damn. He's gonna fix the back end, you might as well fix the front end. Shit. That's not pretty. Damn. That hurts. This got all jacked up to. Oh man. Are you leaving? Hmm. Dude, I am so sorry, man. Shit happens, you know? I mean, I don't blame, I can't blame anybody. It just shit happens, but yeah. it's. There's a reason why. I, yeah, I'm not mad at anybody. No, it's just, no, it's, it's just, it sucks, man. It's like, I mean, <laughs> believe me, it's a. Hi, baby. I have some, uh. Huh? I have some news. Good or bad? Great news? Amazing news? Usually that's the case, but not right now. So after the accident, we were all in shock and everybody was trying to figure out the best solution. This obviously is a really rare and freak accident and people didn't know what to do. So they were talking about repairing the cap, but I was a little worried about that. This is a brand new rig. They were also talking about trying to get one shipped in, but they were saying that was gonna take five to six weeks at best. Um, our trailer, they dropped it and the forklift went through it. So, no, I'm serious. So, the front cap has holes in it. It's. Who do we need to kill? Who dropped it? Pretty bad. So, we're gonna be here probably for a little bit. Yeah, it's right there. There's our trailer. So, wait, can't leave the doggies, baby. You can take them out if you want. No. They didn't pick it up right, I don't think. But now I think we're getting a wrap. <laughs> oh, fuck. Pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's bad. It's pretty bad. Okay. <laughs> so at this point, the best thing we could do is think happy thoughts. So we started racking our brain and trying to figure out the best and quickest way to get our rig and our home repaired. One would be to repair it, which would mean doing body work and painting it. That would take about 10 days, maybe two weeks. The second would be to order a cap and get it in from the manufacturer in five to six weeks. Well, this is our home we're talking about, and we're supposed to be heading north for the holidays. So the third option would be to take a cap off of a rig right there on their yard, now, the dealership didn't want to do this because, let's face it, they have another rig that they're trying to sell, and uh, that wouldn't make good business sense, but they knew that 
it was a problem they had to fix and that's ultimately what they ended up doing so here we go probably for the first time in RV history they're taking a cap off of a brand new rig to put it on an almost brand new rig so that they can do right by us but it's easy as it come off, I don't think we will. What? You need something to fry on the cap with up there. Are you dirty? On there? Yeah. On your? Sorry. <coughs> no, on that one. Yeah. Well, I gotta hook all the wires back up, so we just need to tack the top so I can get back in the bottom, hook the wires back up, and I can set the insulation in. As you can probably understand, this is not an easy situation, and it's kind of gut-wrenching to see your brand new baby, your home, getting destroyed and having a brand new cap put on it. All the screws are right behind you by the AC. <laughs> yep. Forklift went through it. Okay. Yep. Dropped. I think the cup, the metal piece actually snapped. No. Uh, the ball snapped off of it when they so, were. Yeah. Mm hmm. What were you bringing it back for? Uh, we had a bunch of little warranty oh, items because we're heading out of the area for six months or so. No, so you wanted to come in and get all that shit done. Mm -hmm. And now they're putting a new cap on it. Crazy, right? <clears throat> One time. Yeah, you decided we're going to Do we have enough to where we can we tall enough to where we can walk over to the other one and put the top on? I got it. I got it, David. We all can't talk at once. Do we have enough to where we can keep the tilt just that way and kind of stay on this? No, it's not going to Look it on the other one. Just, we're just going to walk it straight over. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. Walk it straight over like it is. You need to wrap the point. Are we walking? Yeah. Are we walking? Yes. Nobody said nothing. <laughs> we got to communicate. I know, but no one, everybody needs to communicate or some darn thing. Where were you at up top? Is your top on? I'm down. Yeah. How we looking? Keep coming. We got it up here. Keep coming down. Alright, that's right. This one doesn't sit up this high. Okay, come back on now. The other one. And I'm sliding off, and the more they let go, the more I slide down. Five seconds. Oh, I see. Pick, oh, pull oh, the bottom five. out. He's got a caught on the side's caught over here. We're there gonna you probably go. start pushing forward that way. Alright, there we go. Don't push the bottom in. We're good on this side. How far do we have to go in the bottom? We need to keep it out in the bottom, that way we can get in there very fast. Well, right now we're up against this cap. Too far back, back here if I put a screw in, it's probably going to the Uh, here's the crazy plant lady. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? We're at the RV dealership and she's trimming plants. Yep. Yeah. This is my life. <laughs> <laughs> One day in the life of a bulldog. And for the very first time, we have someone else parking our trailer. 
so let's see how he does. So by the end of the day they had swapped the caps and we were looking pretty good. By swapping caps we saved a lot of time and we were able to stay in our home that very night. We still had a lot of work to get done and they still had to fix our Anderson Ultimate fifth wheel connection because that was damaged during the drop. So the guys from the dealership towed over our girl back to Santos Campground where we would spend the next few days getting the warranty items fixed. Everything may seem nice and easy in this video, but it was a full day of chaos and figuring out lots of things. But a lot of things happen in life and you can choose to react negatively or positively and we always do our best to react positively because there really wasn't anything else that could have been done in this situation. Shit happens and the dealership did their very best to make us happy and get this resolved as quickly as possible. On the good side and on the brighter side, we got to hang out at Santos Campground for a few more days, take in nature, and hit the trails just a few more times. We've been full-time RV now for just over a month, and things have been unbelievable, and at the same time they've been crazy, and we've had some of our lowest lows. We hope that you guys are enjoying the videos and continue following the journey, because we've got a whole lot to share with you. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Road Warrior. Make sure to tune into the next episode as we explore Silver Springs State Park and get some mountain biking in and show you a little bit of what Ocala, Florida has to offer. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.